Good morning. This morning I want to talk about how to paint shadows. Now, painting shadows can be pretty tricky. If you start with an orange pot, you can look at the photo and see that on an orange pot the shadow looks a little bit brown. So what a lot of beginners do is they paint the pot orange and the shadow brown. It's not a very good look. It looks like two separate pieces instead of a shadow laying on a pot. So what else can you do? You could paint the pot first and dry it and then paint the shadow on top. And that's better. And it looks a little more cohesive. It looks more like it goes together because you have the orange color underneath your shadow color. But there is another way you can do this. Put your shadow on first using a neutral color like gray or black and then just paint your color on top and you'll be done. So I want to show you how to do that. First I'm wetting the paper because working wet on wet will give me soft edges even though it's scary. And then I mix my dark blue and dark brown to make a neutral gray and I test it by putting a small brush, just a little bit of paint on there and see how far it's going to spread. Now notice I'm not going all the way out to the outer edge. And it's not very dark because I'm working wet on wet, but I get a little more color on there and I touch the edges with that damp brush. Okay, now what if it spreads too much? You create a thirsty brush by lifting all the water out of your brush and it will lift up the paint where you don't want it to spread. But to be honest, I like it spreading a little bit because that's really what shadows do. And I missed a little spot there. I didn't get it wet and it's not spreading, so there I'm just going to touch that spot. So this is a great way to put your shadows on so you get soft edges. And then once you dry that, you can just put your color right on top. It lets you just work on the shadow. You can only concentrate on one thing at a time. And you don't have to worry about mixing complementary colors or anything else. So you can see how it looks. It's, it's a nice look. It's an easy way to add shadows for beginners. And it gives you some practice on working wet on wet. Now I'm taking that same thirsty brush while this is still wet and I'm going to lift up some highlights. And I'm doing this in real time. You have to be patient. Lifting up highlights with a thirsty brush, they fill back in softly. The paint fills back in so that you end up with nice soft edges. And so you may have to do it five or six times. Here I'm lifting a little off the top. So it's a very subtle highlight. This is not a shiny reflective surface. So subtle highlights are great. So take your time. Concentrate on your shadows first, then your color, then your highlights. And I hope that one, two, three method gives you great results too. And now let's, let's compare this to the first two methods. See how much nicer it looks when you can work wet on wet? And if you use a gray for your shadows, you don't have to worry about what color to mix your shadow, which when you're beginning watercolor, that, that can be tricky. 
So this is one method I used as a beginner to get believable shadows, and it worked for me, and I hope it works for you too.